Hey guys, my name is Lindy. I'm an American. It's been living in France for over five years now. And I thought I would switch it up today and we would take a look at French and America high schools. As someone who has both attended and taught for several years at a French high school, I thought we could look today at some of the key differences that I've noticed between French and American high schools. So first up is class schedule. So French students have much longer days in class compared to American students. They usually start class around 8 a.m. and don't finish their school until around 5 p.m. However, they do get like one to two hours for lunch. So for school lunches, the French students will definitely complain, but wow, their, their school lunches are great compared to American ones. They get like a little salad or starter dish, some sort of entree of fish or meat with vegetables, glass of water, baguette, and a little delicious pastry or dessert. And I must say too, the quality is pretty darn good. Now if we look at American school lunches, yikes. <laughs> it's usually like a questionable sandwich, lots of starch, roll or fries, and maybe like a piece of fruit and a carton of milk. That's why a lot of American students bring their own lunch to school. In France too, often students get at least like an hour, but I've even seen like two hours off for lunch. Therefore, like some will walk home and eat with their family or eat in the canteen or even like go to a nearby restaurant or cafe for lunch. And I think it shows too the importance in the French culture of how important food is, how much they place value on eating and enjoying the food that you're putting into your body. Unlike the US where we just kind of grab something quick. Sports and school spirit. So American schools definitely go crazy for school spirit from like the pep rallies, face paint, band, cheerleaders, big sporting events. France just doesn't quite show the same enthusiasm <laughs> for spirit in school. Many students are like truly in awe of American high school and all like the fun activities that they offer. Students here still play like sports, but it's usually on a team outside of school. And as for like school colors or mascots or anything, that just like does not exist in France. The biggest school spirit that you might see in many regions across France, 100 days before the final exam period for the BEC, students dress up in costumes. It's called Person. It's a fairly modern tradition to celebrate the end of high school. However, I don't understand, still don't understand why it's before exams and not after to like celebrate. <laughs> but it kind of honestly reminds me of Halloween just because they like dress up in fun costumes. And then along with school spirit comes the dance that is seen in every typical American high school movie prom. The guy asking the girl in like a showy way, the big football game before, crowning prom queen and king. It's always the question any American gets when they come to France is, is it really like that? And yep. <laughs> French high schools, they don't do like a big dance, a bud. So often they'll do like parties or like for their birthdays and stuff, like get all dressed up. So substitute teachers, they do not exist in France. If your teacher or prof is absent, then there's just no class. Sometimes they'll have like a surveillant, which is someone from the office who will watch the class if need be, but it, then it's like almost like a study hall. Whereas in the US, if your prof is absent, you get a sub and it honestly just turns into like watching a movie or just it's not as serious of a class because your actual prof isn't there. And just like the movies, American students have lockers to put their like books and binders and stuff in and they usually decorate them with like photos of friends and like mirrors and locker shelves and all of that where in French schools students usually just like carry their backpacks to each class. So choosing a major in high school is also kind of different. Like at the age of 15 or 16, or like even now, <laughs> did you know what career that you wanted to do? Well, in France, you kind of have to choose pretty early, like what path you want to do. The system has changed a little bit though. So you have a little bit more flexibility. But I know when I studied in high school here, you had like literature, science, OS, which is like a more general one. But like I said, it's kind of changed recently to be a little bit more flexible for students. 
Also like in French high schools they have internships which I was so shocked and it's like can be from like one to two weeks but I think that's actually a really cool idea so you're not like studying for and preparing for a career that maybe you're not even actually interested in so I think that's cool that they offer that. Whereas like American high schools, all students take like the same core classes, but then some extra like elective classes that they can choose. And it gives you more of a chance to explore interests and not be on such like a set track. Some high schools even offer like university classes that you can earn credits for a uni. Though honestly, like there are advantages and disadvantages to each system. The grading scale. So in France, they go on a scale of up to 20. Often if you get like a 16, that's a very good score and it's almost impossible to get a 20. Whereas in the US, like not easily, but it's a little bit easier to get 100% in a class or at least an A. And French schools, they tend to do more like essay style tests, whereas US, it's more multiple choice. But again, all of that is very generalized, like it depends on the subject, on the school, the teacher, and all of that, so. Also, school buses and driving. So in France, like students often like will walk to school or take like the metro or a train or something or get dropped off by a car. Because of the driving age is 18 in France, it's not typical to drive to school, whereas in the US, Yes, we have the big yellow school buses that you see in all the movies, but it's also a big deal once you're 16 to like drive to school. It's less accessible to walk to school and just like walking in general is less accessible to like get places in the US unless you're in like a bigger city. So, And honestly, my list could definitely go on, but I think I summarized some of the major differences. And let me know if you've ever studied in American or in French high schools and let me know other differences that you notice and just like tell me about your experience below. Until the next time, thanks so much for watching. A la prochaine. Gros bisous. Salut.